Welcome back to Unclark with Shannon. And Tara. Today we're trying a little bit of a mystery bottle. Yes, so this is Esteban Martin Garnacha Syrah Blend 2018. It's a good year. Yeah. Great year. It got 92 points on the James Suckling like wine, 100 point wine scale, so that mm-hmm. means it's pretty good. Um, From what we've read, it has a lot of different flavors. We're a little nervous. Yeah, lo- big flavor profile. <laughs> so, tell them where you got this. Oh, um, so we went to Charlottesville for my birthday, and the Airbnb that we stayed at, they gave us this wine, and we were super excited to try it, and they were the sweetest, sweetest couple. But we were drinking at wineries all day, and when we got home, we just wanted to eat and go to bed, <laughs> so we never got to try it. So I was like, Tara, we should definitely try this. Yeah. And I'm excited. It looks very fancy, and honestly, that couple, like, I can't say yes. enough great words about. So thank you if you're watching this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, it's from Spain. Um, so Spain, red, red wine from Spain is mm-hmm. very good. Let's see. This wine is an expression of great vineyards and represents the passion and hard work of the family and a profound respect for nature. It's 85% Garnacha and 15% Syrah. And um, the area of Spain is Ca- uh, Carinina, something like that. Um, we looked this wine up and it said this region is like the Rhone on steroids. <laughs> Some websites, um, <laughs> they had interesting descriptions of this wine. They did. I think yeah. you found the most interesting. <laughs> Someone else said that this wine has round and chewy tannins. Drink now. Never yeah. heard a wine referred to as chewy, but... No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they also said it, there's, like, certain spices, and it's smoky and oaky, and... Smells like molasses, tobacco, spice, smoked meat, yeah. ripe berries. That's a lot. But oh. each site that we found said something different. Yeah. So this is really a mystery yeah. bottle of what we're going <laughs> into. Also, the price is a little bit of a mystery. Depending on where you get it, it could be anywhere from eight dollars to fifteen. Used to be forty-eight, now it's fifteen. But yeah, it's like in the middle of like eight to fifteen, and I think we found it on like wineaccess.com mm-hmm. and then something value <laughs> and i found it on wine and cheese mm-hmm. <laughs> bottles value.com <laughs> didn't know all these so you know sites. yeah we're gonna see what it tastes like because always up for a challenge we are scientists <laughs> today we are today we're scientists and we just got to try all the wines so you guys know exactly what you're buying. Yes. Okay. So it's I like re- the color. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Yeah. It's very dark. I was going to say ruby, but I feel like it's maybe darker than Ooh, that. Oh, yeah. It is. It's It's very nice and pretty and yeah. reddish purple. The legs are super slow. Oh, I didn't see the alcohol percentage on here. Uh, Fluffy. She doesn't need to be liked every five seconds. <laughs> oh, 13.5%. Okay. Oh, they are slow. Mm-hmm. Damn. Uh, so it's very full-bodied. It um, smells really good. Oh, I was a little scared about the smell. I was worried. Yeah, I didn't know what we were going to get. I don't smell tobacco. I smell berries. Yeah, I smell, like, spicy berries. Like, there mm-hmm. is some kind of kick, but it doesn't smell like tobacco. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Oh, that smells really good. I like it. Yeah, I do. I'd wear this as a perfume. <laughs> mm. Maybe that's what we should invest in. Yeah. Perfume by wine. Mm-hmm. Oh, Shannon could come in a cute little, like, <gasps> wine bottle. Like, it's coming a- soon. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay, ready? Yeah. Hmm. I'm going through a lot. There's a lot to process in that taste. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's not bad. Um, it's bitter. Mm-hmm. I thought I had smoky. Maybe it's oaky. I feel like it's going through different... <laughs> 
Ah, uh, phases or stages? You know um, when we said we tasted Snoop Dogg and it was like a roller coaster? Because, <laughs> like, but it was like you just tasted so many different things. Yeah. This is a different roller coaster. It is. <laughs> this one has loops. <laughs> yeah. I think that's oh. very accurate. There's so many tastes in this glass. It's like. I don't. What is the one that was like beef? Boy. Oh, that was the smoked meats. It smells oh, like smoked, smoked meat. meat. But it doesn't. it doesn't. But this, um, so we found this on Vivino. It's got a 3.4 out of 5 star. So people have been saying it's a good, it's a good wine. Nothing outstanding, nothing bad. It's a good wine. Mm-hmm. Um, but they also said the taste is cherry, raspberry, smoked cedar, and boysenberry. Mm-hmm. I don't know what boysenberry tastes like. So... That's a mystery. <laughs> whole thing is a mystery. But. Thanks, Bob. Um. It is very bitter. Um, very dry. Yeah, very dry. Um, like I feel like I need to chug a glass of water because this leaves me thirsty dry. Oh, you're right. It does. Yeah. Um. I want to say it's like tart berries, like very dry tart berries. Mm. I don't, maybe cherry. I'm get, like the yeah. after is cherry. Yeah. I didn't taste it, but now it's like on my tongue. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe some raspberry. I don't get, this is very interesting. Like, yeah, I'm on like this really like crazy roller coaster. Each time I taste it, I taste something different. This is wild. <laughs> I want to know what a sommelier would think. Because I feel like if they literally pick up every note, I'd be so mad because this is so wild. Can you be a sommelier but not know what every fruit tastes like? Like, I don't know. I've never had a boysenberry. I don't even know where you get that. That's (laughs) not at the grocery store. (laughs) I think I might have seen boysenberry jam. Like, in in the organic market that I go to. Yeah. (laughs) But... But, like, do you have to eat everything so you know what the taste of everything is to be a Somalia? Probably. Just like a chef, I guess. I would love to... I want to take a class of, like, so I can pick out stuff better. But I feel like I'd be terrible at it because I'd be like, I don't know, I taste a lot going on. (laughs) This is just a hot mess in a glass. (laughs) There's just a lot. Yeah. I've yeah. read that when you take those classes, you try so many different wines, and like people are like, I had just had to sit at my school because I was hammered after class. Oh my god! <laughs> go to that class. <laughs> It'll be a good time. <laughs> you know, here here for the wine. <laughs> I like to learn, but yeah, my favorite kind of learning is in a class. I think accurate. We went to that one <laughs> class. That was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, you wait till you see our sparkling wine class review. Perfection. It's definitely good. Uh, <laughs> a lot of but yeah, so yeah. I guess I would agree with people. It's a very middle of the road red because mm-hmm. I don't think I could drink this on like a um, daily like. I, I wouldn't reach for this on, like, a Tuesday night when I'm trying to unwind. Like, okay. When would you have this, then? Hmm. I feel like maybe it's probably better with food. Like, this mm. did say pastas, beef, um, veal. Like, really heavy food, so. I could see veal. I yeah. don't really eat veal, but I could see a pairing. I'd want it with garlic bread. Oh, <laughs> that would be really good. Yeah, that's when I feel like I feel like then it would be perfect. But on its own, I feel like there's just a lot going on. There is. It it was really hard to like pinpoint what you're tasting because you just had different stages. I'm gonna try it with the chocolate macaroon. I got these. Aldi has macaroons in the freezer. All. Try. Yeah, go for it. I think this is a vanilla. We're not sure. There's like salted caramel and vanilla, and they look super similar. I think vanilla. It's good with chocolate. Oh, that yeah. changed it. Whoo, that's good. 
have some more of the chocolate mango. Mm. Mm hmm. Food makes wine taste so different. I love it. I don't know if vanilla goes with it. Mm. It's good. Oh my gosh. I'm always amazed when food changes wine. Mm hmm. Because the chocolate really mellowed this out. Now I go just the berries. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's just like cherry, raspberry, and it tastes like a normal red wine. Kind of cup did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is good. <laughs> it's good with food. Hmm. It's not good with vanilla. I'm sorry. It's just like flat, <laughs> like just bitter with this one, but also these like macros are really good from yeah. all these. It was like six bucks and you get like 12 macarons. Pretty awesome. Yeah, that's a win. Yeah. I love Aldi. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, this is our mystery wine tasting. That's a good mystery. Yeah. You gotta branch out. You'll never know until you try. Very true. <laughs> um, so yeah, like Shannon said, subscribe. All our accounts will be below and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.